So now we need to make the matte painting. First thing you want to do is export a Photoshop file from After Effects. So you have this frame for editing in Photoshop. Go ahead and go to Composition, Save Frame As. Now you can do this in two ways. You can either go to File, which goes to the Render Queue, or Photoshop Layers. I always go to Photoshop Layers. So I'll just go ahead and click on that. And then save it where you um, where you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in Still Assets. I'm going to make it Screen. All right. Now what you're going to... Uh, Gonna have to do is go into Photoshop. So go ahead and open up Photoshop, and I already have the final product here. So what you need to do is basically erase this part of the tower so we can replace it with a matte painting. Now this I did uh, by using the clone stamp tool over here, but I'm not going to get into much detail about that. Um, there's plenty of tutorials out on YouTube which you can look at about using the clone stamp tool. But one basic thing I want to tell you is that. Um, Anytime you paint over the original background image, make sure you make it on a new layer. So you always go to layer, new layer, and you can rename it to erase, for example. And let's see what mine looks like. That's what mine looked like at the end of the day. And then I went ahead and found this picture on the internet and uh, made the background transparent and copy and pasted this selection, or a bit more accurate, not selection into um, this Photoshop file and if you look at that it looks pretty cool. Now one really uh, important thing to play with is blending options. Um, the main thing I did was the color overlay. So it's really important to sort of blend the matte painting in other than using other uh, color correction methods. You basically pick a color. Let's say we want to blend it a bit more with this building choose that color, OK, play with the opacity a bit until you find where it sort of matches with the building. So don't go too high, otherwise you lose all the details. So I'll say that's, that's pretty good. All right. So what you want to do is save that file um, as a Photoshop file, so save as Photoshop, and make sure to include the layers. Now I've already saved this file, so we'll go straight into After Effects now. So in After Effects, uh, go file, import file, and find the Photoshop file you just exported. So let's go here. It is. Here's an important part you need to make sure you check, double check. Import as composition crop layers always. When you have something to do with layers in Photoshop, make sure you have this selected. Click open. And that should all be good. Just make sure it's merged layers into footage, composition crop layers, and OK. So what uh, After Effects does is it makes a composition with all the with all the layers from Photoshop in it. So we don't want the background layer. We just want the matte painting. So there we have the matte painting with the um, with the tower and just the sky. Let's go back to your original composition and drag that uh, the Photoshop layers comp above your original footage. As you can see, it covers the tower. It's pretty cool. But now, scrub through and it's not moving with the image. So we have this null object, the building track, which we can parent the matte painting to. So go ahead and take this pick whip, drag it to the building track. That's one way of doing it. Or you come over here to the arrow and click on where you want to parent it to the building track. All right, now if you look through it, it's perfectly motion tracked. So I hope you guys learned something uh, from this. Mocha is a really cool program to work with, and I took you through the basics of um, tracking motion Mocha, exporting it for After Effects, creating a quick, a quick matte painting in Photoshop, and then applying the tracking data to that matte painting within After Effects. Stay tuned to my channel, there will be more tutorials, especially to do with Mocha, because I feel like lots of people don't know much about it, and it's a great program to start working with compared to After Effects' point tracking.